Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on Watchbox Reviews. Reach out to me at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, I ask this question. Do you wish your Alango Unzona Torbograph were 100 meters water resistant, equipped with a flying tourbillon, a vertical clutch, perhaps automatic winding? How about if it cost a fraction of its price and you still get uncompromising high horology finish? If you answered yes to any or all, this is the watch for you. The Blancpain Le Mont Tourbillon Chronograph, a timepiece that combines a flying tourbillon with a vertical clutch column wheel chronograph, a loomed dial, automatic winding, and the ability to go swimming. 38 millimeters in rose gold, the watch is 13.9 millimeters thick with a remarkably compact 43.5 millimeter lug to lug span. Now the timepiece, as you can see, features a spacing between the lugs of a rather standard 20 millimeters. So this timepiece can actually be fit to almost any standard aftermarket size strap as the 20 millimeter size is fairly universal. Now let's take a quick look at the hardware and the software and then throw it on the wrist. The strap equipped here is a Blancpain factory piece and brand new. Note that it features large rectangular scale alligator leather with a semi-gloss finish, a sheer side showing you the layers of leather, and there are quite a few, a monotone stitch in black, and then on the underside, it features a wonderful inlay of vulcanized rubber, so it's nice and soft against the wrist and isolates the leather from the oils and moisture of the wrist. There is a lovely matching red gold deploying clasp, as you can see Blancpain branded inside and out, with a simple hook that secures to one of the apertures of the opposite side, ensuring you will not drop this watch while donning or removing at bedside. The case band is characteristic of Blancpain with a neat sharp break between the case and the lug profile, and then the name of the brand with a little bit of a inward bowed bowl type shape and a double stepped twin gadroon double domed bezel. Roll it around the crown side, you can see the screw down crown and chronograph pushers that make this a 100 meter water resistant multi-complication. Now on the dial side we have applique red gold indices for the hours, the Blancpain logo up at 12 o'clock, a true white dial, it is not silver, it is white. And I must say, given that this is a major brand from a major group and a major complication, the printing is remarkably spare. Rolex, more like this. The paucity of lettering is an absolute home run from an aesthetic standpoint. Now you can see that the hands of both the chronograph functions and the hours and minutes are loomed, so you get an unexpected amount of utility. The Torbion, we're going to get as close as we can, features a flying architecture, which means there's no upper bridge to block your view. It beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour, and you can see not only is the Torbion bridge itself, or the upper carriage, I should say, because there is no bridge, but the upper carriage is black polished. There is a black polished mirror underneath, so you can see the Torbion reflected from below. You can also see how the Torbion drives around its base using a wheel that runs on the same axis as the escape wheel, so it's a fascinating design design from an engineering standpoint. It's also adjusted in five positions, so true to the mission of the Torpion in the pocket watch era, it does offer excellent timekeeping as well as visual fireworks. Now when you turn the watch over, things, well, they're just as interesting on the back side of the watch as this 38 joule five position adjusted automatic winding movement is based on the Frederic Piguet 1185 automatic integrated chronograph, which means it features the refinements of the 1185, 21.6 beat rate, the five position adjustment, a vertical clutch, a black polished column wheel, efficient unidirectional winding, and all of this pivoting on 38 joules. You can see the column wheel, you cannot see the vertical clutch. The column wheel ensures that the actuation is crisp. It's fun to play with this chronograph. The vertical clutch ensures that when you do actuate the chronograph, it starts without any jump or stagger, and if you wish, you can leave the chronograph running full time thanks to the vertical clutch with no additional wear and tear. Now turning to the reverse side one more time, you can see that the rotor here is actually freehand engraved with a burr sort of like a mini chisel. So no two of these are exactly alike. Solid gold and hand engraved. It sits atop a movement that is beautifully finished in the Valley du Jeu tradition. You have Cote de Genève across the winding bridge. Below that, engine turning on the other bridges, as well as the base plate. You can see there is a fat mirrored anglage on the edge of every bridge, as well as in the jewel and screw countersinks. And all of the screw heads are black polished. You are getting a lot of quality, functionality, features, and finish with this 38 millimeter beast. And to think you can buy it for the price of a used gold Rolex Daytona. I know which I would pick. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we're back with the Blancpain Le Mans Tourbillon Chronograph. Loomed chronograph registers and 
time of day, hours and minutes.